Welcome back everyone. Hope you're all having a great Tuesday evening. Coming at you a little bit late. Work days this morning. So we're doing an evening shoot. I think it's about 5 o'clock, but be that as it may, we're going to go ahead and get started. We have the last two. Let's get a little bit further away from the camera there. We have the last two of the 2016 Panini Certified Boxes. Hopefully tomorrow, according to the UPS tracker, I'll be getting eight more boxes in the mail tomorrow. But they're the, I think they're called the Championship Collection. I can't remember what it is exactly called. Uh, a couple other guys have opened them on their channels. I know Danny and Grace has opened one. And Tim, I apologize, I'll probably butcher your last name here, Tim Mazzy, M-A-U-Z-Y. He's opened several on his channel. And they've really pulled some really nice stuff out of those boxes. They're just repack boxes that have some older packs and a few newer packs in them. As well as uh, sometimes some good hits in them as well that are just thrown in there. So I've got eight of those coming in, so I'll probably be doing one of those a day for at least a week. Maybe more, don't know just yet. But let's go ahead and get started on this first of the two certified boxes that I have left. And these certifieds have actually been, <coughs> excuse me, have actually been treating us rather, rather well as far as the inserts, and I didn't show you guys the boxes. Always like to do this for the newer people that may be joining us for the first time. You see the uh, Jimmy Johnson there on the front. There's all of our odds of all of our inserts, our parallels, our base, and so forth. Excuse me. NASCAR logo there on the back or on the bottom. The back or the front, depending on how you choose to display the box in your retail setting. Then as you see, look for exclusive special mirror silver parallels numbered 99 bottom of the box of course has Panini social media information as well as the uh, licensing rights to use Jimmy Johnson of course being a Hendrick Motorsports driver you'll see all that if it was uh, one of the Penske drivers or the Gibbs drivers or so forth that would have the appropriate uh, team team logos and markings and licensing rights and so forth of course that's become a big thing we have three packs here do not see a thick pack, so hopefully that means an autograph. Generally, that's what our uh, what we've been getting the last few of these. If we don't see a thick pack, we're getting a pretty good autograph. But here we go. We start with Clint Boyer. This back when he was driving for H. Scott Motorsports, which used to be... Je uh, James Finch was the previous owner of the team before he sold it to Harry Scott, so the number one in the car was 51. When Boyer took it over, they just reversed it and kept the number 15 that he had raced with Michael Waltrip racing. Of course, that 15, a uh, uh, five-hour energy, wanted to keep that 15 number, I believe, more than Clint did. Ned Jarrett, of course, Ned is the 1961 and 65 Cup Series champion. Ned also has the largest margin of victory ever in a NASCAR race, 14 laps in the 1965 Southern 500. He did win two short track races by 22 laps, but distance-wise, the 1965 Southern 500 was greater. We have the J.J. Yeely, numbered to 99. I'm sure there it is right there. 26 out of 99. And that might be a door number. I'll have to look that one up, because if this is his Xfinity Series card... In 2016, he may have been driving for um, JEL Motorsports, which did use the number. Was it JEL? I can't remember. But one of the teams he was driving for in the Xfinity Series did carry the number 26. So I will definitely have to look that one up. That'd be pretty cool if that was a door number. Fred Lorenzen. Fred was the first NASCAR Cup Series driver to win more than $100,000 in prize money in a single season. Oh, and we have a Kate Dahl. For, for a minute, I thought it was Haley Deegan, but a Kate Dahlenbach. But uh, that would be in the early 60s with Fred Lorenz, and it may have been 1965. A lot of things happened in 1965, like Richard Petty. Uh, I don't believe, I think that was the year that he drag raced for a year when the Hemi, Hemi engine was outlawed by NASCAR. But, but again, I thought that was a Haley Deegan card when it was a Kate Dahlenbach, because I was looking over to my side and caught it out of the corner of my eye. A.J. Allmendinger, of course, A.J. works for, is it NBC or Fox? I really can't remember right offhand. I think it's Fox. But this is when he drove for J.T.G. Doherty. 
Martin Truex Jr., 2017 Series Champion. And this is probably our autograph. And it is Cameron Haley. I believe he's from Canada, number 13 out of 25. <laughs> this also might be a door number because if he, if I remember correctly, he was driving for Thor Sport. And I'm trying to get it to focus in. There's the Thor Sport logo. He may have been driving the 13. That'd be funny if we got two door number cards cards in the same box. There's Jimmy Johnson, <coughs> seven-time series champion. And Daniel Hemrick, last year's Cup Series Rookie of the Year, who is driving a partial Xfinity schedule for Junior Motorsports this year in the number eight. And our last pack of the first box starts with Kyle Busch, the 2015 and 2019 Series Champion. Colin Cabre, don't know much about him, probably should look him up. We got a Terry Labonte insert, very nice. A nice Terry Labonte die cut, numbered 86 out of 99. Kind of reminds me of the 2001 VIP making the show cards. Set that one off to the side to get it sleeved up here in a minute. Daniel Suarez, who is running for Gaunt Brothers Racing this year. And David Pearson, of course, who passed away a couple of years ago. Second all-time in career wins at 105. Go ahead and open the second box. And I'm not going to tilt the box around. It's the same as the first one. Does not look like we have a thick pack in this one either, but no, no, we do have a thick pack, so that that will be our relic pack. Hopefully it's a good one. And we start off with Richard Petty. Nice one to start off. I'm not sure why all the Immortals cards have this little blue, almost just like a, an error printing, uh, printing blemish. Christopher Bell running for Rookie of the Year this season for Levine Family Racing. And we have another insert with Bill Elliott, number 47 out of 99, Legends. Again, those cards remind me of the 2001 VIP Making the Show. Another Kate Dallenbach. She is the daughter of Wally Dallenbach and Robin McCall Dallenbach. And Jimmy Johnson. Robin McCall made a couple of cup starts in the early 80s for J.D. Stacy, And, of course, Wally had a career that spanned from 1991 to 2000, driving for various teams. Rico Abreu. I don't think I've pulled a Rico Abreu card yet. This one's the first one that I have ever pulled of Rico Abreu. Of course, he runs in the sprints and dirts and dirt car series and all over the United States. He did run a, a gear or two in the trucks. There's Landon Castle. We have Matt Kenseth. And this one is a one of the silver parallels. 97 out of 99. Matt Kenseth. Another Daniel Hemrick. And another Daniel Suarez. So we're getting a few repeats out of those two boxes. A bit awkward, but... Still, I'll take the repeats that we've got, and I'll slide that relic to the back, if I can, and we will, it's got multiple pieces, whoever it is, hopefully it's a good one, Carl Edwards, of course if you watch the race Sunday, you'll know that they mentioned that Felix Sabatis, I'm sorry, Chip Ganassi, I still associate the 42 as Felix Sabatis being the car owner. Chip Ganassi reached out to Carl Edwards first to replace Kyle Larson in the 42, but uh, ended up Matt Kenseth took it. Carl Edwards passed. We had Fred Lorenzen just a little bit ago. Ricky Stenhouse, who we've seen start off this pack. Jamie McMurray. And now we have our relic is... Ryan Blaney. A very nice Ryan Blaney card, numbered 55... Or 59, maybe. I'm getting a bad glare. Let me look at it off camera. Looks like it's 55 out of 99. Yeah, 55 out of 99. Four-piece relic. Very nice. 
So we'll get that one sleeved up here in a minute. So our two hits was the Ryan Blaney Quad Relic and the Cameron Haley possibly numbered to the door number autograph. I'll have to look that one up. Then we also get a possible door numbered JJ Yaley Silver Parallel. The Matt Kenseth Parallel numbered and I'm going to miss it here, 97 out of 99. And then our two really nice legends inserts, Bill Elliott and Terry Labonte, both of these also numbered to 99. So a very nice day for our final two boxes of certified. Definitely have to pick up more of this product, really like it. I can see I've already got some cards I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, that I'm going to need to sleeve up here in a minute. But once again, we did hit our 100 sub mark. We do have that contest going on. Watch the v video from this past Sunday. Was it Sunday or Saturday? I don't remember. It's been a couple of days because today feels like Monday. But anyway, I do have the 100, <coughs> excuse me, 100 subscriber contest giveaway. And it will have the rules for you guys to follow. All you got to do, go back, watch that video. If you haven't already, you have the opportunity to win one of these three cards. So hopefully you're watching this video, you'll hear about it. If you haven't heard about it yet, go back, watch that video, see what you need to do. But somebody out there will be a lucky lucky subscriber here in a week or so. Once everything, uh, once the contest gets ended and I get all my numbers tabulated and figure out how to do a live stream, which shouldn't be too hard because a lot of other people have been able to do that. But I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the subscriptions, the comments, the likes, the... Everything that you guys have done, you're helping to build this, you're helping to grow it. I, I truly do appreciate that. So we will see you again tomorrow. Hopefully those new boxes will come in and we'll have something to open. If not, I've got a few other plans for some videos. I've got plenty of packs to open up too as well. Just kind of been kind of been delaying on those because the other sports are kind of in a lull and this is a NASCAR-centric channel. I do have some baseball and football and other things just in case. But I do appreciate it and we will see you again tomorrow. Have a great evening.